Many people know me as a doctor coordinator of Steam Cells program at Good Cells, but I am also a doctor neurologist and would like to talk in more detail about the empty nose syndrome from the point of view of neurology. Empty nose syndrome is a complex problem that has a great impact on the function of the whole organism. ENS occurs as a result of trauma to the mucous membrane and disruption of the architecture of the nose, which entails the loss of vital functions of the nose. It's important to understand that when patients acquire empty nose syndrome, they receive not only damage on the nose, but also a considerable pressure on the autonomic system, the system for correcting impaired functions. This is hard to believe, but let me explain the mechanism in more detail. Breathing is a vital function of the nose and is normally performed autonomously. The autonomic nervous system is responsible for the breathing process, which works autonomously under the normal state of the body. As a result of trauma to the mucous membrane of the nose and nasal conquer, a person feels a breathing disorder. But breathing is essentially not disturbed, air enters the lungs as before, but the brain does not receive the information that the person is breathing correctly. Moreover, as a result, breathing is eventually disrupted due to the fact that the brain receives the wrong information and begins to correct this malfunction. Let me give you an example. A Tesla car with autopilot function. Tesla has sensor that read information about the outside world, which help her navigate in space and react to obstacles. Imagine that this car has several sensors broken and the onboard computer starts to go crazy. But Tesla is a smart car. It tries to compensate for the, this function with other systems. But sometimes it's wrong and inadequate. Something similar happens to the human body with empty nose syndrome, the nervous system of which continues to be in constant tension and stress. Overloading the nervous system causes sleep disturbance, which leads to the malfunction of the hormonal system. As you know, some hormones are produced only during sleep, and some hormones are produced mainly during wakefulness. As a result, problems arise with both of them, because the quality of sleep affects the quality of wakefulness. Hormonal disorders have a huge impact on the immune system, which in turn becomes aggressive. The immune system gives an active response to any stimulus. In the case of empty nose syndrome treatment, any procedure can be an irritant, including stem cell injection or the production of three component graft with methyl cellulose. As a result, they can lie faster, which affects the results of treatment. That is why we offer complex therapy, which includes the restoration of nasal mucosa, architecture of the nose, the receptor apparatus and the correct function of the body's adaptation systems. To restore the architecture of the nose and volume, Good Cells Biotechnologies have created a three components graft with methyl cellulose. To restore the receptor apparatus and nasal mucose, we use stem cells injections and to increase the adaptive capabilities of the autonomic nervous system. I prescribe medications that help reduce the pressure of nervous system, preventing its depletion, reduce the aggressiveness of the immune system improve the results of treatment of patients with empty nose syndrome. The medications work on the main mediator system in the brain. That is why these types of medications are called antidepressants. Going back to our example with the Tesla car. Sometimes restarting the onboard computer will help it perform a self-test and restore correct signal readings. In the case of empty nose syndrome, such as reboot of the nervous system is possible thanks to medication antidepressants, which are prescribed in combination with the introduction of cellular products. These medications are selected individually and will be adjusted if patient has negative reactions. The patient must have patience and promptly inform the doctor about his feeling when taking medications. Subjective breathing comfort is the main indicator in the empty nose syndrome treatment. Therefore, 
we conduct a questionnaire at each stage of treatment. This is very important because it allows us to monitor the patient's physical sensation. Hereafter, it's possible to adjust the dose of the medication or replace it. Of course, this is a long-term process, but it is necessary to find the best solution. The treatment program of empty nose syndrome at Good Cells is aimed at both tissue restoration and stabilization of the reaction of the nervous system, which makes it possible to predict the success of treatment cases, including those with the use of three components graft with methyl cellulose. The doctor, as well as the patients, is interested in the positive results of the treatment. For any side effects that appear during treatment, the doctor will adjust the dose, select other drugs or methods to make the patients feel better. But this is a process in which both of them must work. We work for you and do our best to help you. And we hope for your trust and effective dialogue. I hope everything is clear for you. In the next video, I will explain to you the mechanism of the work of the nervous system. If you have any questions, please ask me them in the comments below this video.